So there's diagrams on this one. There's a lady on the toilet. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, honestly, this is a pretty weird way to start a video, but probably not the weirdest way I've started a video. I want to get over to Holden because he's actually downloading the sponsor for this video, Way of the Hunter. You guys check out the link down below, Way of the Hunter. You can download it. It's a brand new hunting game, obviously. How's it going so far? Holden's downloading it right now. We're going to review it by the end. Good? Yeah, pretty good. He's getting good. He's getting good at the game. Meet over with Courtney because obviously we have some business we need to take care of before we head out. Clean bowl. A clean bowl. Ew. No, you're not using a bowl. <laughs> Why do you use a plastic bag on the floor and the, come in the on. Come on, come on, come on. You you need a tiny swab. It'll be exactly like camping. Mm -mm. According to the title of this video, you're gonna find out how many parasites I have, but that's not the only thing that was going on in this video. It's gonna be a whole smorgasbord of things. We are headed up north. We're all packed and ready to go. But before I go. I'm going to submit my stool sample. <laughs> so Courtney is going to be my delightful assistant. Open those up and let me know what I need to do exactly because I am not sure. But I want to give you guys a health update. I have a whole report here showing that everything inside my guts is normal, which is weird because they don't feel normal. We're going to get to the bottom of today. Do you like that pun? You appreciate that? <laughs> yeah. I'm also getting my breakfast ready. I switched to oatmeal. I am doing a, a rolled oats oatmeal. Uh, if you haven't been able to tell yet, this video is going to be a vlog of my week. So we're going to do all the things leading up to my fun adventure, including the fun adventure. So I'm going to be meeting up with Jeremy. We're also going to be doing some hanging out. I'm going to film everything. So you're going to see a side of me, us, and my family that you've never seen before so really? you got that handled i also want to show you guys that i'm also trying everything so i'm trying two different kinds of probiotics they're not helping they've made no difference i'm still pretty bloated uh, i'm taking the ppi a proton pump inhibitor which is an acid went on three courses of antibiotics one of them made me violently ill and i threw up and i stopped taking it so i took two um, for the course of it and now we're going to check to see if there's any parasites which is kind of a little backwards i know but uh, they checked for gastritis, no symptoms or nothing uh, pathological there, uh, no autoimmune gastritis, and no Helicobacter pylori. And the one I did throw up uh, was the one actually for intestinal parasites. So maybe my parasites in my intestine decided that that was enough. <laughs> Poop, swab, yep. dunk, mm -hmm. I got it pretty much right. Mm -hmm. yep. So you're going to help pretty me much. with this after, okay. after my breakfast, we'll get my BM going. Super, <laughs> can't wait. And then you're going to get packed and we're going to go. Okay. And then what is, what is the liquid in there that just keeps That's it alive? That's the medium. So you have to sort of make the swab go all through the medium, it said. Like, like smoosh it up against the sides and dunk it and stuff. Is the medium the message? It, it will be the message that the lab gets, yes. Hot porridge. I don't know if I ever want them to find anything, but it'd be nice if you knew what was wrong with you. Done. And done. Okay, now here. <laughs> Alrighty, so the last package to drop off before we head out. I'll see you guys up north. So the kids have been having, well, we've been enjoying, enjoying the noise, the mess, just outside of uh, my mom's place here. They're actually blasting the, uh, this is Canadian Shield, and they have to put services because they're building houses on the other side. So twice a day, they're blasting this rock out so they can run the services. So they're gonna they're gonna do a charge here now. I actually videoed one before, but they put these these uh, giant mats uh, with their rubber mats. They're very very heavy on top of the uh, dynamite or whatever. I don't know. I'm not using dynamite. Whatever charge they use, they drill down and then they bust out the rock so that they can run the pipes up. And then they've been this massive hole over here, which is like I don't know, 15 feet deep down there in front of the house. So in between that and they, they actually went over to uh, my sister's house over here and they're watching from the deck. So you guys can check out the blast. Soon? Yeah, okay. I gotta get back. They keep yelling at us to come inside. <laughs> they just don't wanna pay attention to the minions. They give us a warning. There's a, a, sir or a siren or a horn and then beep, a beep, beep. couple of pauses and then they, it vibrates. What? Sound like the house hawk. Bass. Boop. Blow it up. Blow, Blow it up. Blow it up. Blow it up. Blow it up. You're gonna hit you from here? 
Ouch. One rock. Bonk. Knock you out. How much sticks of dynamite? I don't know. You guys have to go ask questions after. Blow it up. Yeah, you guys should go in the house. Go in the house. Go in the house. <laughs> Did they do it again? No. no. Oh, that. Nice. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Did you feel the wave of the, the, the energy wave? Yes, because the back of the house was the That's big boom. That's because the the window was, or the door was open. You feel the air concussion. Oh, I didn't feel the air. I just mean like the like boom at the back of the house. <laughs> Last time it felt like it was at the front. And they gotta do more here. It's like Jeez. right there. I put the GoPro right there. I didn't know you did that. <laughs> yeah, I put it on the fence. <laughs> what do you think of that? Pretty good. Yeah? Did you feel it? That was a great one. Did you feel it? Poof. That mat shot up pretty far. <laughs> yeah, that was, it, it's supposed to, that was a super good one. Yeah. What do you think of that? That was nice. Did you feel it? Yeah. Poof. I don't like spells, nothing. Well, I'm not sure if you guys have ever seen any blasting like this, but it's pretty common up north uh, with the Canadian Shield. It runs all the way down the highway, so they actually got quite good at blasting out this big, dense rock. I actually had to search up these mats because the kids were saying, oh, the mats are about 300 pounds, but they're putting like six or seven on top of the blast site before they blast, obviously so the rock doesn't go everywhere. And each mat actually weighs about eight to 10,000 pounds, so they're about nine foot wide by 12, and then they're stacking them right up on top. I don't think the camera picks up the explosion and definitely not the impact or the, the concussion from the airwaves, but it's pretty powerful and it actually was shaking my mom's foundation. Obviously they made us go inside because every once in a while, they'll, uh, a rock will fly out. So they're having people move their vehicles as well. So here are a couple more booms that I filmed throughout the week. Is that is that done? Yeah. He should know to stay there. <laughs> yeah, but you never know. <laughs> uh, he can dump. Uh, he's, he's about halfway down. They're not gonna blast this yet, so I don't know. Come swim. Ooh, it's cold. Yeah. Why is it cold? it's cold? I thought it was warm. Go why? Oh, go away, go away. Why is it so why is it so cold? <laughs> go get your bathing suit on. Better check the temperature. It is ice cold water. 70, 73 or 74 or 75, something like that. I'm supposed to go out tomorrow with Jeremy to do a little adventure. It has been raining the last few days. They got a bunch of worms. Uh, haven't gone fishing yet. I might use the worms if they don't go fishing though. Not doing the grind and not trying to survive. So it's a good change. I thought it was cold. <laughs> ah, it's so cold. <laughs> I, 
You don't look very comfortable. I'm not. Put your butt down. It's so cold. Put your butt down. No, but it's so cold. You're not gonna be stable, otherwise you're gonna flip backwards. <laughs> it's freezing my <laughs> Yeah. Well, at least you got in. <laughs> the only time we got the pool to ourselves because all the kids are inside playing the games. So cold. Put your bum down. It is. Put it in the water. It is. <laughs> Not too low, we missed. Did you but, miss? But no, it says vitals hit. That would be a good shot. That's what I said. That's what I said. I hit it good. Well, guys, we've been playing this game throughout the week, and Holden's been showing me how to play games again. I haven't played a game in a long time. By the way, this is the Way of the Hunter, brand new game. It's available on what, Holden? Uh, PS5, PC, and Xbox Series X. So it's, and you can also play with your friends online, Yeah, it's right? online multiplayer too. So you can play solo, which is what Holden's doing now. And he's showing me the keys, so you obviously you're walking through the forest. Are you hunting something in particular right now? Uh, my uh, quest right now is to reach the upper grassland area, so I'm going there. So this is like real world hunting scenarios. We're in the USA and we're in Europe hunting. And the storyline is you're restoring a family lodge hunting resort, right? Yeah. It's basically you're trying to revive it. So we've gone into the house, you got yourself a weapon, and now you've got your binoculars, so you're all set up to hunt. Super realistic. Like it's the most realistic game I've ever played. And it's really, really fun. And it's it's super accurate like in most games you just walk into a field and all the animals will just sit there and let you kill them but in this game they actually run away and you have to wait and be quiet for them to come back out for example when you hunted the badgers you're like walking around and you're like trying to shoot them I'm like dude you can't walk around and shoot badgers I'm like go back up in the tree stand camp out there and then and then usually like was there a couch button and as soon as you crouch down and then you waited like a couple of seconds, yeah. and then you pop back up, and then the animal started moving again, yeah. right? And then tell me about the bullet feature, like after you shoot oh, something. Oh yeah, after you shoot something, that it'll if you once you collect it, it'll show you like where it is. You have to find it, and then once you shoot it, it'll like if you collect it, it'll show you where the bullet went, and it'll tell you what like organs you hit or. Like, if it was a kill shot instant, it's really cool. So it was like a 3D animation, so you see like the bird's eye view, or the first person view of the bullet going through, yeah. and the damage it creates. And this is all about hunting animals ethically, right? So that's yeah. the trick, right? It's not just shoot and you walk oh. away and you're done. See, that's oh. the hearing sound, oh, the dude. hearing thing. Yeah, so I don't know if you guys can see that way off there, but there's sounds like, oh, it's over here. Okay, so it's gonna be live kill, can you make it happen? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> no pressure, don't miss. Steady your breathing. No pressure. The lower, the lower. Okay, wait till you're breathing. You're ready. <laughs> no. Oh, what's happening? No, that was too high. Oh, right over its back. I can't believe you missed it. And they have all busted out of the field. So Holden right now is in the penalty box of hunting because he shot and missed and scared all the animals away. You really scared everything away. No. You shouldn't have missed. Yeah, well, cause, no, it's because the problem was is that my zeroing was at 600 meters, which is there, but they were right here. So I should have done 300 meters, and then they would have probably hit it. You're in the penalty box. You're in the penalty box of hunting. It's usually all you get, man. You screw up once. That's it. Next day. Well, I messed up twice. Next day, another story. So I'm going to give you a tip, too, also. When you look through the scope and it's really small, <laughs> it's really far away. So they weren't coming out. So I said, go back to the lodge, go to sleep and then come back out. So oh, here we are, the animals are closer now. Tuck it right up in the shoulder. Yeah, you're, okay, you're good there. Don't miss. <laughs> oh, I'm trying not to. Oh, I hit oh, it. Oh, wait, watch, watch it. No, 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 stay zoomed in. There, keep keep trained on it, because you're going to have to track it. Is that the one you shot, though? It's one of those. Oh, uh -huh, yeah. So wait, so don't do anything now. Keep watching them. Oh, they died right there. They went down right there. Okay, wait, 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 go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. You're the edge of the water here, because you gotta go find it, right? Yeah. You're the edge of the river, Yeah. and then you're facing southwest. Because you gotta go claim your animal. It's not, you don't just shoot it and leave it there. What are you tracking? I could shoot them. You could just shoot another one. Well, you'd have to find both, though. But no, don't shoot another one. You gotta shoot the one you found. Go find but the one. they're right here. Go find the one you shot. Where is it? 900 meters, dude. No, it's 200. 200 meters. You shot it at 150. Oh, right there, right there, right there, right there. We found the blood. I told you. You can't just go on a wild goose chase to find the blood. Okay, E, analyze. Uh, I did. Okay. What does it say? 
Color, pink. Medium amount of blood, but it has air bubbles. Time to expire slow. Distance before expiration, zero to 50 meters. Okay, that's good. That's good. So how do we track this? How are you, what are you just walking randomly? Gotta go back. Okay, there, there, see, there. Okay, e analyze. Pink, medium amount of blood, air bubbles. So follow the blood trail. One there, turn around now. Turn around, sketch boy. Turn around, go down, go down, find the blood. Down, okay. Go stand on the blood. Okay, turn around now. Find the next patch of blood. Where's the next patch? There, okay, go walk to it. Now stop there. Scan for more blood. You see any more blood anywhere? I don't think there is any more. Yes, there is. You gotta find the animal. You oh, gotta right trail there, it. Right there. Oh, oh, over there. See, now we're on it. Okay, follow the blood. So we gotta go 50 meters from where we shot it. But we're gonna go slow because we gotta track. You gotta see if it did it go straight, did it go left, because it didn't go through the trees. There, blood. Okay, good. So we're good. We're still in the blood. Okay. Wait, stop. Look up. Did it go through the do you think it went through those bushes? Over here? Good. Now we're on the trail. Right there? There's good. Right, right there. We're following the blood. It's telling us the Q Q hunter sense is helping us. This me oh, oh yes! We found it! How? I, hit, I hit the right lung and the left lung. So and the bone. Wow. So that's the that's the whole trajectory there. It shows you all. So you that went pretty far for a double lung shot. So that's just an example of how hunting really is. That is an accurate way you track an animal. How hard was that? You can't just wander around and find it. You had to go back, find the blood, study the blood, and then find the blood spots. Yeah. Accurate as heck. That game is well designed. Yeah, very. Very well designed. And you see, like, I had to use my own hunting experience to help you track down that animal. So it wasn't just shooting it. Now you get to do what? Like in uh, taxidermy. Yeah. Taxidermy. All right. And we can bring back to the lodge? You yes. Read the, yeah. yeah. You've read the basis of hunting. Now all shop items, multiplayer mode, and available territories are accessible. Sweet. So we got some new things unlocked. Awesome game. Yeah, very, very, very fun. All right, guys, check out the link down in the description below. Uh, Way of the Hunter. Awesome game. Yeah. Oh, I love it. That was exciting. Yeah. What's going on? What are you going to do? Look for worms. You're going to look for worms. Yeah. You set up like me. Look, I'm a professional wormer. Yeah, mm. I got the, got the light on the top. Yeah. Is that on or off? It's off. It's off? Did I turn it off? Yeah. Is that it on, on now? Yeah. Okay, look at this one though. Oh. Don't, don't, don't look at it, you're gonna be blinded. Look at that. What do you think? Are you ready? Yeah. Where's I'm ready. your bucket? You don't have a bucket. You're not it's ready. outside. You have buckets outside? Yeah. All right. Hey, your buckets are over here. Yeah, okay. You gotta get the buckets. There you go. River, be quiet. Shh, you're gonna scare the worms. River. That's okay, but I can't really do it. Thank you. Look, they're not out there. Oh, there's one. We just left. Gotta go slower. I think people already walked here. Come this way. You find one yet? No. What the heck? Where are they? We we even know we're looking for me. Oh, here's one. Here's one right there. Huh? Right in the light. See him? Get him. Where is he? Oh, did he leave? Yeah, probably. Find any yet? Yeah. Right, right there. Oh, it went in. Slow. Slow, right where the camera's pointing. See it? Right there. Go slow, 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 slow. Oh, you're, oh, you gotta pick faster. Right. Oh, see how fast? Don't oh, watch where you step. I see him. Okay, you see him? Yeah. Now wait, you have to watch. Do you see him, Jaden? Yep. yep. Okay, yep. so he knows we're here now because the light's coming. So what you have to do is, he's gonna want to go that way. My hand's not quite the right way. So I'm gonna grab this side, like that. And you see how I stopped him from going in this hole because I pushed yep. down on the hole? Yep. Okay, so now when you pull him out, he's very slippery and he wants to go back in. You got to get your hand right. It's a big one. And then you take him out of the hole. Once you get him out of the hole and you leave him there, he's, can he leave? No. no. Why he's not? Because there's no hole he can go back in. Because you can't go back in the hole. Okay, so once you got him out, you're good. So you got to look before you step, guys. Because when you step, you're going to be scaring a worms back in. So what you want to do is look and then step. Worms! Look at that. We got about six worms. Good Let's work, go. guys, so far. Yeah. It's more than six. I put in three and Rowan put in like five. Well, you're getting there. I put in one. Are we going to split them in half, like cut them in halves? Yeah, we can split yeah. them in half for, for worms. For more. Yeah, for bait. 
Yeah. Sure. Okay, which way is the hole? The hole's, I think, on that side. There's actually two there. See, there's one there and one there. So I'm gonna sh I'll show you one more time and then you guys can go off on your own. Okay. Swift, one swift move, and then once you get it, then you wanna take it out. You wanna kinda wiggle it out, and then once you get it out, there's your worm. And see how I scared obviously scared the other one away, right? Yeah. But that's what's gonna happen when you find two in a row. Alright. Thank you. What you got? A stick? Yeah. Well that's not gonna be good for bait. So you should be able to find like a worm or two every square. You think baby minnows will help us catch if you catch a bunch of baby minnows, put them on the thing? Because some yeah. of the bigger fish will try to eat them. Not, as, need a net not as good as worms. Worms work. Like yeah, worms work better. Minnows will work. But winter is more for winter. You getting them? Mm, not many. <laughs> Did you get any? Yeah, one. One. One broken one. You broke it. You broke it? No. It's already come broken. It came broken? <laughs> Getting any? Well, you got a couple? Here, you can have this container. Alright. Here, you now you're portable. How's it going? I'm good. <laughs> How many you got? Uh, well, I've got nine so far, I think. Dude, you're the champ. I know. What's the secret? Like, just smush them to the ground, then you can grab them. Like, with the other hand, put your flashlight down. How are you finding them, though? Because we're not even finding them. Just go slow, right? Yeah, really slow. And... Like, don't look too far ahead, and then sometimes they'll be behind you. Because you can't see them. They have a little reflection, but most of the time you can't see them until you're really yeah. close. I think we're still a little bit early. Like, if we probably, like, 20 more minutes or half an hour. I feel like the front would be pretty good, too. Maybe. I think it's, like, just turned dark. So yeah. not quite out yet. And probably you guys didn't get maybe to get too much rain here, did you? Is this the first time it rained in a while? Uh, no. No, it rained about three days ago, I think. Oh, no. well, then it should Yesterday. be good. should be good tonight. Right there. Yeah. Oh, man. Did it go? Yeah, it went. I was so, trying to figure out where it went. There's another one. There's that, that guy's way out. See him? Right or left? Right in front of you. Right there. Yeah, I know. Oh, get him. How gentle. <laughs> Part of it's just technique and and figuring out where your finger should land, right? It's the wrong side. Dude, if you miss this one. Okay, so his head's this way. Aim for the back where the hole is. And don't how, how grab should I it. grab it? Well, you want me to show you how? <laughs> like you should I grab Can I do it? And you gotta use your hand and your knuckles and everything. So like grab it there. Kind of. But you gotta see what here, watch. That's where the hole is. Now we can't go in. And now you can grab them, but I actually broke them. <laughs> so there's your half worm. Where's your container there? See him? So that's how you get them when they go in the grass. You grab the grass. Okay? <laughs> so there's another technique. Here, hold okay. Aim it at your face there for a second. How many did you get? Like six or seven. That's pretty good. Nice hair. Yeah. Can't really see. <laughs> you can't really see. How many you got in there? A couple. Um, are those all yours? Where'd yours go? Good? In the box. In the box? Whatever. Got all right, it. we'll keep going. You guys got to get like a million. All right, show them what you got. That's oh, all right. Geez. That's on the top. And then there's a whole bunch on the, on the underneath. Yeah. yeah. Nice. We well, did okay. They can't climb over that bucket. No. How many did you get, you think? Total. Like All of them. 50? 50? Maybe. Not that much. 30, 30, 40 ish, 35 probably. So maybe, uh, like, what's it? Five bucks a dozen? Like, maybe 20 bucks worth? Yeah. Yeah. We good. split it. Yeah. Good night's work. Yeah. Okay, and then you gotta find all the worms, pick the worms out. You don't need to add any of that soil in there. You can put a little bit of the soil. Like, you can put as much soil as you want, but it doesn't. Some to, worms. Yeah, mostly worms. Making a mess? Yeah, they're making a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna turn this into fish for dinner. So the next time you guys do that, you don't have to put dirt in. You just put grass or moss. So you guys there. there's some moss across the road you guys might be able to find. There might there, there might be some across the road. Is water there yet? You guys went down to the golf course? Yeah. Yep. Got a lot there. But there, there's a big pile and chunk of them, 
and just we took would take one and just twenty would disappear. We just see it out of the corner of our eyes. It would just all go under. You want it, these have these have to go in the fridge, right? Okay. If you leave them out. Don't touch the container with your hands. You could twist it around a bit. Go like I'm this. I'm afraid he might break the knife if he does that. It right? doesn't matter. You go too far, you'll hit, you'll hit a worm. Oh. <laughs> There you go, job done. You guys earned $25 worth of worms. More worth of fish though. Hopefully, you gotta trade up. Oh yeah. yeah. All right, let's go. So every morning between 10 and 12, I took the boys River, Holden and Jaden out to our family run power skating and put my skates on too so that I could give them some help. I used to coach this every summer for uh, 10 to 12 hours a day. We don't run that many sessions anymore, but we do run uh, two by two hours and we'll do four sessions. So that's quite a bit. And uh, it's a good business for my mom and my stepdad's also a coach. Can you say hi? <laughs> okay. They still have to flood? Yeah. Well, everybody's fast today. The bottom one? The bottom one's good. The bottom one's not, is it on yet? Yeah, it's on. On it? Good. It's on? Yeah, all right. You got it. I'll put it on. Okay. It's good. Hey, good. <clears throat> other way, guys, other way, other way. Keep going, don't ease up, that's it. Guys, don't ease up at the end, keep going all the way through, right? Don't ease up. Okay, one more time with the boot start. Go, 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 go. All the way, all the way, all the way. All the way, all the way. All the way, Jaden, all the way. All the way through, keep going, keep going. All the way, all the way. Now we're gonna go backwards seat to that outside edge, okay? So again, I'm gonna start here. It's outside, other third cross, outside. Other third cross, outside. Get across, yes. Wet. See how he's shifting his bump, weight back to bed? That's what it takes. You gotta shift your weight, go ahead. Too tight. Do you want me to loosen them? The hen. That's a 
that's got to be a wild turkey. Oh, I'm stuck on your seat. Well, guys, I already found a couple of wild edibles. I got some choke cherries here. Choke cherries because they're kind of sour. Um, you don't like to eat the seed. Oh yeah, making my mouth pucker up already. Yeah, spit these seeds out after I mash them. Yep, I remember those all right. And there's a couple other berries here, some bunch berries. See if we can find some raspberries. Should be some down by the river in the opening. And hopefully some trout. We managed to get out of the city and found some somebody off in the woods. Hey! Jeremy, one wild crafter. Flavorless as always. You guys probably remember those from season season one of the Wilderness Living Challenge where you can find lots of them, but there's not very many calories in them. But there are lots of them around. And uh, as per the name, they come in bunches. So you can grab them in bunches and eat them in bunches. Bunches of berries. Bunches and bunches. We're gonna do something a little bit different today. We're gonna to try a little bit of experiment. Yeah. Jer uh, Jeremy's got these little, you go ch go check out on his channel, you did an experiment with the different brands. Is uh, that up? No, I haven't, like I did a one-off, but I'm gonna do like a little more extensive testing. Today? We're gonna to start today. Okay, we're gonna to start today. Yeah, I'll gotcha. show you the English side for all yeah. those Americans out there. So basically, I don't know, do Americans have deer flies and horse flies like we yeah. do? This is the American brand. Okay, so uh, there you go. Tread not. Anyway, on. if you don't know what they are, they're giant bugs. They like to, ow, there's one right there, ow. <laughs> There's one. There speaking, speaking of the devil, Keep it. it was just biting my hand. <laughs> um, it's a deer fly. This is a deer fly. And then there's bigger varieties called horse flies. The horse flies are not as common, no. but they'll take like a chunk of flesh out. And so yeah. do these ones. So I'm going to take this one. I'm going to crush them so they can't fly away. I'm going to put them in my pocket. In pocket. So the idea is we're going to put these on our hats. Yeah. Right? You're going to show us? Well, I'm not oh, okay, not yet. Peel, but like, you, it's a peel and stick, right? So, so you peel the one side, you put on your hat, yeah. Then you peel the other piece off. And the thing about deer flies is they like to fly around and they bounce off the back of your head repeatedly before they decide to like bite you behind the ear, usually, <laughs> or the and back so, of the neck, or where you're missing that spot where your hat is. Yeah, right in the little <laughs> that thing. Well, so, when you have less hair, yeah, you've got some protection. You, yeah, yeah got, they're gonna get hair. me for sure here. So yeah, and then we're gonna pick them off and we're gonna try to use them for a trout bait. Yep. And you guys know that the boys uh, pick some worms. So I've got those here too. That's for backup in case the uh, fly experiment doesn't work. But I'm curious to see if like you could just stick something on the back of your head and go. This one's different. This other, this is the Muscal brand. So you just peel off this yellow strip and there's like a strip of tape. So this is gonna go on the back of your head and then we peel off the white one. So put that on and then there you go. And then do we have to stick close to each other and like I pick insects off the back of your head and you pick them off the back of my head? Yeah, yeah we'll be like <laughs> a couple of chimpanzees. <laughs> All good experiments should have a backup plan, right Jeremy? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm just going to Ziploc bag. Uh, I don't know how many worms. I'm going to dump out all my drill bits and then I'll bring a piece of butter pot. There you go. You guys can check out uh, Postfly. Post flies monthly subscription. It's not they're not sponsoring this video, but uh, the links will be down below if you guys want to uh, pick one up. It comes every month. I did grab some of the flies in here in case some of the real flies don't work. Ready to go? Yeah, just about. Just about. Well, I don't have a hook tied on, but I can do all that down there. Oh, will this thing take over for me. How yeah. fancy is that? Yeah. I wanted to do the whole thing myself. Get ready for the robot takeover. <laughs> I'm obsolete. Yeah. All right. Truck, catch fish. <laughs> Truck, catch fish. Nothing. Well, I didn't bring the fishing robot. <laughs> I just brought the door closing robot. I'm the fishing robot. Yeah. <laughs> catch fish, much catch fish. <laughs> Must eat fish. Yeah. Got thick. Here's one. Right down there, nice black one. We're on the board already with the wild edibles. Try to find uh, the base of the runs. It's usually a good place to look for fish. I'm looking for little little brookies. Most delicious kind you can find. Probably some fish hanging out in there. Looks like a fresh uh, poplar got cut down or knocked down. Yeah. Beaver? I don't know. Probably Can't not, eh? Base. Just the wind? 
So here are the post fly. It comes with a whole bunch of different little nymphs and uh, streamers, dry flies. But uh, tried and true in this creek anyway, right now is to go with the live bait. And then we can play around a little bit later. All right, since we don't have any flies yet, I don't think, except for the one in my pocket, I'm gonna collect flies all day, and then I'll try at the end of the day to see if that works. Ooh. As, long as, as long as I can get back up, we're good. Oh, got a bite right away, guys. And a fish right away. Oh, and I lost them. Dang it. <laughs> there we go. Oh, he snagged me. He went all the way back in that hole and snagged me. Oh, there's a fish. Oh, I lost him again. What's going on, Jer? Okay, I got another one. There we go. Better hook set. Okay. I got to remember how to get these guys on shore here. Are we keeping three inchers? Four inchers? Taking the hook out, yeah, he's fine. And he got a bit of worm too, so he's good. We'll let him go. All right, well, we kind of blew that hole, so we gotta go to the next one here. Oh yeah, another good run down here too. I can pre-fish it, let you know if there's any fish there. <laughs> All right, I'll let you have that hole. It looks like a good one. I'm gonna try to bushwhack through here. Yeah, it's funny. Somebody has been uh, fishing back here because there's obviously a trail and then they put uh, a, a dead tree branch right at the front there making it seem like there's no more trail. <laughs> but I'm smarter than that. The real trick with these rivers is that uh, these small little creeks is at the end of the run there's always a good pool. I think I have a fish on. There we go. There's a fish. Little one again. Well... That's the perils of fishing somebody else's creek. You end up with somebody else's leftovers. Nice little natural brookie. I'll let him go. Go ahead, buddy. Oh, another little guy. They're not even big enough to eat the hook. <laughs> well, we might have to find another spot if we want to catch some keepers. Another small one. It's not as small. I think in order to make a meal, oh, this guy's, I was gonna keep him anyway. That's the best we got. That's a four incher. So, and he's hooked pretty bad. Like he's, he's bleeding. That's kind of my pact with the rivers. If I injure a fish, that's one of my fish. Yeah, so there's a little guy. He's a, uh, you can see he's bleeding. So I'm gonna keep this guy for lunch. That's my uh, my agreement with the river is if I if I catch a fish and I injure it, oh, it almost got back in the river. I'm gonna keep it. So part of my limit. Huh. Another little guy. Well, there, catch and release. He's gonna go. Keep going, buddy. There you go. Back in the water.
Well, Jeremy must be doing pretty good because he hasn't come down to find me yet. So maybe, <laughs> maybe he's got his limit from that one little pool. Did you keep any? One that I injured. So we're, we got two on the board now. Did you take a poopy? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> after I ate all those choke cherries. Yeah. <laughs> Bear poop. Big steamer. It's a little older. A couple days old. Yeah, I don't know. We had a big rainstorm the other day. Like I saw some, some choke cherry pits on the road. And I think it was originally a poop. But then the rain washed all the poop away. So you're just left with the pits, right? That's how you get a new tree. Some uh, touch-me-nots here. These are edible too. The flowers. Jeremy always reminds me to check on the inside because there's always an insect. There was one little green guy. You don't want to eat him. Well, you probably you do if you're really hungry. Grab a handful of these. They taste uh, kind of like a light berry. Not super sweet, but you get a little bit of sweetness out of them. And down by the river, there's usually lots of them. Oh, and look at that, a treasure. We found ourselves a raspberry. Delicious. Check for bugs one last time. And then down the hatch she goes. A little bit of roughage to go along with everything else. We'll try bridge cast here. This is a uh, snowmobile trail. And so it's not very well traveled. <laughs> you see, you wouldn't want to drive on that with a vehicle too many times. There is a fish on there or a snag. It's a fish or a snag. Oh, I'd like, oh, oh, it is a fish and he came back for it. And I got him. <laughs> Bridge fish. That's not a bad one. Uh, uh, yeah, I want to eat it. Yeah. Like, if I can keep it. Yeah, yeah I got him. Ta da! <laughs> bridge fish. Pays off. This is a bridge fish in the middle of nowhere, too, which people don't really get, right? Like, yeah. this is like a snowmobile trail, it just keeps going. Yeah. Oh. Nice. You want to try to catch a couple more there, or are you good? You want to go get the big fish? Uh, Nice little brookie, natural. So Jeremy bushwhacked all the way over to that sandbar and he's casting over there. And he said there's a whole bunch of big trout and then he got snagged so he had to go back and get his stuff. And he's like, well, you better go over here to the end of the, uh, there's an end of a run down at the end there and there's a nice deep dark hole. And of course there could be some trout there. So he convinced me to go bushwhack. These are really the trout you gotta work for though. Oh, there's some more food. There's choke cherry. Choke cherry bunch. Yum. Mmm. Bitter. Oh, chokey. So are these trees. I run into a bear in here. We got a trout to come out of the hole here. Oh, there's a trout. Bite right away. Is it a big one or a small one? Didn't take it, so it may have been just a small one again. Oh, that's a bigger fish. That is a bigger fish. We got him. 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 Bigger fish. Yes, that's a better fish. Finally, we got a better fish. That's more typical for this river. Knock him out. There we go. Got him that time. And into the bag she goes. Just like that. Oh, where did he go? He went way up. Oh, there he is. There we got him. 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 Yes. That is the best trout we have so far. Oh, stay here. Stay here. Whew. That was close. Dude, that's a beauty for this river. Nice one. That's a like a, a solid eight. Solid eight. Nice. Oh, I'm not really getting them proper here. There we go. Good. Check that one out. That is an absolute beaut. That was the second fish I caught out of there. So that's kind of unusual. But that's the, that, is, that is a nice size one. That's normally the size we keep like all day long. Beauty. Two out of this hole. 
That means maybe there's a maybe there's one more. So you got some fish? Yeah, I caught and kept two from that corner. Yep. Uh, I caught a bigger one and it fell off right up the sand, and then I didn't have time to pounce on it. And I missed a bigger one too. Those look all right. Some yeah. Meat there. Got some heft in there. Well, I don't even want to show mine now. So I got this one. Nice. One. You don't want to show your. <laughs> You embarrassed by the size? That nice. one. And the big one. And for the last. That Lots one. That's a nice one out <laughs> of this creek. <laughs> that was the third one I the second one I caught. Nice. Yeah, minor. Which two did I just catch? That one. And that one I think. Yeah. So you missed the bigger one then. Yeah, this probably about that big that dropped off, but there was there's one about maybe that big who was, he came out a couple times, but yeah, no dice. That, I, I only went just right there. I don't even know if I went that far back. Just to, there was a little. Yeah, you just got to that corner, right? Yeah. There's a pocket. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is another good spot to add to our list. Yeah, there's probably, like if you went down and you kept going, there'd probably be like three or four fish in every hole. Yeah. That'd be my guess. I believe it. Yeah. Instagram? Probably. <laughs> Hashtag. The most beautiful freshwater fish in Canada. Yeah, I would say. I think so. It's not like a dirty pike or... Uh... Like there are some other good looking fish, but... Just a mailbag. <laughs> Basically. Yeah, just a mailbag. Yeah, like a foil mailbag. That's a good idea. And ice packs. Works great. I was uh, on my camera, I was saying one of my tricks is to throw a couple ice packs and two beers in there. <laughs> and uh, then you end up like way back somewhere that you've bushwhacked and like, oh man, I could really go for a cold beer. <laughs> and the other guy's like, yeah, me too. <laughs> and then whoop, you magic out two ice cold beers and you have something to put all your cold fish in. Sneaky. Well, I sat down in order to uh, change the battery on the GoPro and look at that. I found some more poop. That's an old bear poop. We're headed down, downstream a little bit more here. Or we're headed for uh, some white water, some rapids where there should be some promising fishing. I tell you what guys, this is not easy walking through this stuff. Oh, we came up to a hill, big cliff here. I'm gonna wipe out down this hill. Oh, here, look at this run. Oh, we're not even at the bottom. There's still more to go. Ooh, that's cold. Ooh. Look at this run. That's a beaut. Oh, there's a good fish. This is a good fish. Oh, this is a good fish. Come on. Finally. Come on. Oh, got him. Baby. Yes. <laughs> Man, I fished hard for this. Whew. That is a dandy fish. <laughs> that is the biggest one of the day. Look at that hog. That is a beautiful, natural brookie. And he just swallowed it, hammered it. There we go. That's a beauty. There's a fish. There's another fish. We got them woken up, guys. Another nice brookie. Oh, I got to get out of the trees. Ah, there we go. Sweet. Another nice one. Cleaning up here, boys. There we go. Another one for the bag. I was fishing here for a while and not catching anything. And it's because... The second one I caught. Yeah. And then the first one I caught. Nice. <laughs> That's a good fish. Yeah, that's a good one. That's probably the biggest one so far. That's a nine. Yeah. How about you? Uh, 
couple I like though, one I kept. Yeah. Yeah. There's, as big as that one. there's still more run here, eh? Yeah. Like it keeps going. Yeah. Like we're not at the end yet, so I don't know. We got a fire going obviously now, and uh, we're gonna try some alder smoked, alder smoked trout, fresh trout, because it's been a while since I've done this. So I thought I'd just whip a quick fire together and uh, have a quick bite to eat. Birch bark under twigs, and then medium twigs on that, and then big twigs on that, and then fish on that. That's all it takes. Well, after all that work, I lost my I lost my bug thing or uh, fly trap. Blew in the water, and Jeremy got sticks on his. Want this off yet? We're still wheezing it. Oh yeah, you could rip it off. This one stayed on your hat better though, right? The other one had just a strip and then it fell off. Yeah, that one's got a lot of surface attachments, so it really hangs on there. <laughs> that one worked well, but uh, I caught more, I think. I didn't catch it, any. You didn't catch and any. And I saw at least two on yours. Oh, you got one. You have one. There's a bug in there? Yeah, right there. So that's the experiment we're gonna have to try next time. <laughs> yeah. The best way to eat trout, 100%. The best smoking is alder. It's alder, it grows all alongside the river and it grows fast. It's a fast growing weed species. So there is absolutely no reason to worry about harvesting it and using it. Get ourselves a stick for our fish. Barbecuing our fish, we'll use alder as well. Make a nice sharp point, fire harden it. And then we'll probably pick one of the, one of the bigger trout. We got one of the big medium sized fish. Right up the front. And get the guts out. Guts and the gills. It's a pretty good idea. Here we go, throw it on the stick. Well, we've got the holes for it. There we go. That's going to do it. The smoking now. Yeah. Yeah, the trick is to like smother it, right? Yeah. Not just keep throwing leaves in, but get them all in on 
well, time if it's, at the same time. Yeah, if it's really hot, it also burns them, right? Not crisps them in, or crisps them and then burns them there. Yeah. They just lit on fire there. Yeah. But uh, that's not what we want. We want it to just smoke. You want that to burn down a little bit more to coal. And then when you put your dry green leaves on, they don't combust into flame and then incinerate. You want them to actually smoke. That, that there is actually smoking now. Oh, patience. Patience is a virtue when, you, when it comes to outdoor cooking. The best trout I ever had was Willis Living Challenge 2, was it? When we smoked the rainbow. And, that was good. And beaver and bear. It was that same day, right? Yeah, probably. And then uh, Woodland Caribou, we had some really good overnight smoked lake trout. That was really yeah. good too, because we just... Remember those two big rainbows we caught up in... Um... Those are good too. We won't say. The well... G, the G? Yeah. The G yeah. neighborhood? Yeah. Up yeah, those are, those are good. Oh, I'm going to watch my fish doesn't burn. <laughs> yeah. But smoked fish, yeah. Alder, can't really go wrong. Alder smoke. We tried other smoke. It, alder's the best. Yeah. I'm we're getting alder smoke We're right getting now. alder smoke. Yep. <laughs> There's a little bit of meat. I rescued your fish from the fire. I thought it was done. You ate it all. Mm -hmm. There's a little bit of skin there. How do you like that angle? I don't have a tripod, so I didn't bring it with me. Everything on this whole video has just been kind of thrown together because I wanted to show you guys like what I actually do during the week. It's not just like, oh, we go do a survival challenge, although we did do that. There's also all that life mixed into it. So Yeah. Also, there, that's what people don't realize. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, there'll be a bit more on this video because I um, will bring some fish home to my family and then uh, also the parasite test we got to check by the end of it. Maybe I'll get another parasite by the time. Hmm. I get the results from the first one. That's good. Mm -hmm. So what are you up to, Jeremy? Tell everybody. I'm, I'm eating a trout. I mean, in life? Yeah. A lot of gardening. Back to work? A lot of fixing stuff. Back to work soon. Getting into the hunting season. It's yeah. not that far off, right? So that'll be fun. I'm trying to convince Jeremy to put a bear bait out here because he saw it's a bear sign. No. It's not working. No. And there's no bears at his parents' property, but he can bait there. Yeah. But it's been like four yeah. years without a bear. Yeah. Act we're activity there. Yeah. You know. Probably have to recut that trail, actually. The stand's in good state shape the last time I looked at it. It's just, uh, if you're not doing it on your own property, it's a big commitment. It's a lot of work. <clears throat> you gotta go out like every day. People don't realize what goes into, uh, especially yeah. if you're an outfitter, you know, and you're managing a bunch of a bunch of baits and a bunch of stands. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a lot of work. Well, people don't realize that, like, you're trying to train, you're trying to train a wild, ba a wild animal that normally just keeps going mm -hmm. in some kind of like big circuit giant, or something. Yeah, home range. Yeah. They don't like go back to the same spot over and over again to get food from the same spot over and over again. So yep. you're trying to train an animal to like go off for, you know, a couple hours and then when I show up yeah. for food, then come and get the food. Yeah. And train them out of being nocturnal, right? By like <sighs> yeah. putting it out in the morning. So maybe one, maybe one day. We could go and stake out uh, like a big oak, oak stand. Mm -hmm. Up where you used to fish in high school, you know, there's like a couple big oak stands up there. That's a, that's a thing that can be done. Yep. Um, it's just a little more up to chance, right? Yeah, we'll definitely do a deer hunt this year and you can come up if you want, but. Yeah, yeah. I like yep. deer hunting. You have to sit still this time. Not, much, not as much yeah. walking around. I'll bring a book. <laughs> I shot a deer on the first day last year. Yep. And there's a, oh, here's a trail camera right now. I'll show you of the buck that's wanting mm -hmm. around. Mm -hmm. It's a good a little, I think it's an eight, little eight point. Yep. But good for around yeah, where I'm at. Yeah, yeah. Well, he could still do some growing between now and uh, what, you start in September with the bow. October. October. October first is the opener. Okay. So I'll be doing Same that. Same here. Yeah, and then uh, maybe I'll come up. Yeah. Come up for a whole week if you want. We got everything up there. Well, I don't have a whole week, but I'll come weekend. up. Weekend. Weekend then. Weekend. Yeah. Do some chopping. Oh yeah. Could uh, stuff a beaver inside of a deer. And then roast the whole thing. Do all sorts of things. I haven't done that yet. Yeah. 
put a, put a beaver in a buck instead of putting a buck in a beaver. <laughs> Is that what she said? <laughs> Gotta get the eyeballs. Yeah, they're pretty yummy. Mm. And then we saw some grouse coming in here too. A yeah, pile of them. So something I haven't told you guys yet is that I'm coaching hockey this year, which is going to be another interesting thing because there's a big commitment. It's rep hockey yeah. too. Yeah. Not head coach. I'm assistant coach. So I'm hoping I can still do the things that I want to do, but it's going to be tricky to, to get away. So that's part yeah. of the power skating. I have uh, my son and his buddy who are on the same team. to are getting me a little bit extra ice and give an ex excuse to come up here for the week and Jeremy was kind enough to give me one day. One day. That's what out, I've got. To hang out. Yeah. Could have hung out with anybody today, but <laughs> hung out with you. Anybody at all. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, more adventure to come. Check out Jeremy. Yeah, you should link the video, pop up one of those like things that comes up in the corner here where it's like, you should go watch when we did that catch and cook on this same secret uh -huh. spot before. Yeah, that one, we did a survival yeah. Berries, we caught a bunch of I think of it was during and... the big wild year and we ended up putting together like a whole wild food meal, right? Yeah. That was early on. That was like four years ago. 2019, man. It was before that. Well, 2019 was the big wild year. Okay. I thought we did that in the big wild year, but I maybe we did it, was it before. Like, I feel like it was when my channel first started. And it was mm -hmm. one of the ones that kind of went, oh, all that was cool. That was a fun together. challenge. Yeah. Anyway, I'll find it. You guys can watch that one if you want like a historical... Like the good old times, everybody likes to go, oh, I like the old videos. Yeah. Well, the old videos, we already did the old videos. So these are the new videos. <laughs> Life progresses, it moves on. Well, there's my fish. Not much left. No. Nope. Might be able to get a little bit more off the ribs there. But yeah. I'm hesitant to do it on camera because I might end up with lots of bones in my mouth. Yeah. Or not, in your beard. Not able to talk anymore. All right, we're out for today. So keep watching. So long, YouTube. <laughs> Sound like you're never coming back. <laughs> <laughs>
and see if Courtney wants to come out. Or those yeah, need to go fridge? Uh, they can stay on ice. Oh yeah, you might as well take them out. Unless you want them in the fridge. Uh, I'll just leave them on ice. Uh, pizza? Survival food of champions. Pizza and chaos. I brought some uh, in-law medicine if you want one. Like, no, no thanks. I'm no? Good. All right. Where's your chair? Right here. Are you gonna go swimming with us? Are you guys going swimming? Maybe. Did you bring your sword? Yeah, they're under my hands. Goodbye. Oh, that's one. It's gonna hurt. Oh, I didn't actually hurt that much. No. Okay, ready? Oh, potato, basket. Never enough. No, just filming, filming. They all just worked it. Can't pull a fast one on that. I gotta film if you're gonna go in. Okay. You going in? Yeah. Is it cold? Am I part of your vlog? Yeah, you are now. Oh, it, it wasn't cold until right there. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's what happens, right? That's the nut mark. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Refreshing. <laughs> Woo! It's, it's nice, actually. Is it? Mm -hmm. I can't do cold, though. You guys know me. I can't do cold. You know what the best swimming was, though, when I went to uh, Dominican? Oh, I was, I was like, like, you were gonna say when you were snorkeling for clams. Well, that was that was all right. It was pretty warm there. Yeah. Not quite piss, but. <laughs> I think that's all they did. We're supposed, we're supposed to cover it after. See, that's the right temperature. Oh, yeah. oh and it's filled back up again. Yeah, you bump. Uh... Oh, she's adding more water. Well, it's it's if I can get in or not, though. I don't know if I can get in. Whew. Oh. So cold. You're gonna flood it now. That's okay. That's what it's for. <laughs> Almost. Oh, right to the top. Oh, it's cold at the bottom, eh? Well, there was a cold air hose <laughs> running in here for like this much depth of water. This isn't even warm. Well, it's trying to catch up to that cold water. You think this would be interesting to people? So interesting. It's like, holy, this guy lives exactly like I do. Yeah. Mostly. So does Jeremy. I don't have a hot tub. I found. Pogo's for kids. Pogo's for kids. Maybe, maybe Holden will eat a fish. Probably not. Make sure everybody gets one, then everybody gets two, okay? Come out and eat. Ooh la la. Look at that. Look at that, eh? Mm. Oh boy. <laughs> there you go. Oh, that was for me? Sure. Okay, this one's for you, I'm gonna give her the big, the big one because she likes them. Oh. Do you know how to eat them? Uh, Do you know how to eat them? If you if you, you if you don't oh, yeah there's some little they're just little ones here I'll show you because if you eat it wrong you'll get lots of bones I'll have to watch myself. yeah so here so you know the lateral the lateral line runs down yeah. here okay so if you do if you do it right and I cooked it right you won't get too many bones so you take it from the lateral line up right so the bones are gonna separate out there. Okay. okay, so that's a good chunk of meat. You might have some small ones in there, but most of them, if I cooked it right, will be there. And then this one, I'll do it this way, because it's easier for me. So just like that, to leave the rib cage behind, you should be able to grab the tail. Holden told me, I, I asked him to turn Like this. Right out. Oh, yeah. And then some, I pulled, 
I pulled some of the ribs out, so there's one rib bone there you'll have to pick out. Dad's gonna have to do his own. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> on a smaller fish, which is harder. Oh, whatever. So, same thing. Make sure you do it that way, that pattern. Which or, one's the fish? It doesn't matter? It doesn't matter. Or, the smaller ones are harder because they tend to dry out when you're cooking them. Right. Mm, there no, you go. Okay. Thanks. That's yours, oh. yeah? Okay, okay, okay. Have you had one yet? No. Okay, well you should have one then. Get a, get a plate. Okay, Rowan, 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 you got to share. Yeah, 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 no, I had two small ones. There you go, boss. You had two big ones, I had two small ones. No, one small piece. Yeah, one small piece. Then why are you going outside? Like all my sons. <laughs> Can you show him how to do it? Because he's going to get bones. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're going to the lateral line. You got to bite the head off. So here. We might need a sharp knife, but... Here, why don't you help him? Are you eating? I'm eating right okay. now, but... <clears throat> That's good. Pretty good, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay, and then this side, you got to go that way to get it out of the yeah, bones. Yeah, and then... Best fish right here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. Back you gonna have one bite, Holden? Sure. Bad boy. No. Too bad. Tastes like oil. Like which? Oil. Thick oil, like butter. His mouth is opening. Tastes like gummy oil, then. Yep. Can I give it a kiss? Can <laughs> <laughs> I have the head? Well, you gotta suck. You have to suck the eyeball out. Oh, I have to suck the eyeball out. No, I'm not gonna do that. Touching the eyeball. Did you eat any? Here. Nothing. Come on, suck the eyeball. I think Jaden's so, going to. Jaden's going to. Jaden's gonna suck the eyeball. Yeah. Oh, the kid's got one too. Okay. Okay, you got a head. Where's your head? Where'd the head go? You. I don't know. I think I eat it. Or, or I have a head. Like do you wanna suck the eyeball out? Mm, this is oh, so good. Okay, so so put your mouth right on there and suck it. It's delicious. The head. Did it pop out? Did you get it? Yeah. Did you taste it? It's a little hard, but mm, that bone's yummy. Pretty good, actually. Okay, so Jaden, try the eyeball. Grab the eye. Grab, oh, the, grab the head. All right. Suck, and then. Oh no, not that way! Not that way! You'll get the bone. Where the eyeball is. Yeah. Suck the. No, no, that's the mouth. <laughs> no, no, the eyeball. <laughs> right there. Yeah. Suck it out. Hard. There you go. There's another head. You got mm. it. Did you get it? Mmm, this is yummy. Oh, <laughs> you want a hit? You're gonna suck the eyeball? You need to suck that hard. You can only actually do one side of it because it actually it'll suck the if you're actually sucking kind of the brain out. Oh yeah? Did you have one? No. I want an eyeball. You want an eyeball? Here, right there. Grab that one. Break that head off. Go ahead. Does it taste good? Yeah. It's really hot. Alright, say bye everybody. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. All right, guys. Well, you're going to be surprised by these results. After all of the things I ate, skunks, raccoons, porcupine, all kinds of things. Courtney's reading the results. I do want to thank my sponsor before we reveal the results. We have a hunter. Check the link down in the description below. How many parasites do I have, Courtney? <laughs> None. None. I dodged every single parasite which is surprising. So I still have the symptoms I'm fighting. I've changed my diet around completely. I'm not, I'm uh, no gluten still, no dairy, no cheese or milk. Uh, I've cut out vegetable oils. So I'm doing lard and I'm doing uh, oatmeal and lard for breakfast. Cause that's one of the things they recommend to get away from corn and all those other things that are diff more difficult to digest. I tried eggs as an experiment and they went straight through me. So <laughs> I just don't have the things that I uh, need to digest eggs, which is obviously a problem and a mystery. Um, so the things I'm working on is just kind of trying to get rid of the bloating. So I'm doing a little bit more fasting now, eating a little bit later in the day, and then not eating super late in the day. But it's mostly like bloating right now. The The proton pump inhibitor is definitely stopping the, uh, the upflow of acid and then at night i'm propping myself up which is probably the biggest difference so far besides the proton pump inhibitors which is also weird so i'm like i don't know not quite a 45 but like maybe a 30 degree angle so it's stopping the acid from washing up and it's not in my throat as much uh, i tried to get off the proton pump inhibitors and it didn't really work i tried to wean myself off three times it didn't work and then i tried to do over the counter and acid and that didn't work either so 
Maybe it's just the sphincter getting loose and so it's not keeping the food down. You have a lower esophageal sphincter at mm -hmm. the top of your stomach and it normally keeps everything. But as you get older, same with incontinence. Does that mean when you poop by accident? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It just lets it out. Uh, so that sphincter, yeah, that's, so that sphincter is <laughs> just getting weaker and maybe it'll just keep getting weaker and weaker and weaker and it'll need to get surgery to uh, close it up. But then you can't burp, so Ooh. yeah. So then you end up with you gas and bloating for a different reason. Oh my goodness. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video <laughs> and this update. I will keep working on my health so I can keep making videos for you guys. Hope you, you enjoyed uh, seeing Courtney and the entire family and what goes into a week of an adventure for us. So more well-balanced. I'll catch you guys on the next one. See ya.